I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but this video about to set some people free in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, if my name be lifted up, I'll draw all men un unto me. Send this video to everybody you know. In Daniel chapter three, King Nebuchadnezzar, he wanted everybody to bow down to him, right? <laughs> but, 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 but you know us as believers, we don't play that. We don't bow down to the world. No, we stand for God because the, the Bible says we are in this world, but not of this world. So some people went to King Nebuchadnezzar and say, hey, you know, didn't you say everybody need to bow down? He, he like, yeah. They said, well, look, <laughs> they got these three dudes out there, man. They ain't bowing down to nothing that you say. A dude named Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Read Daniel chapter three. So the king basically ordered to have them thrown into the furnace, meaning the hot, fiery furnace. And then listen to me, the king commanded that the furnace be turned up seven times hotter. Like he trying to kill these boys. You going against the king to stand for your God? Like who is your God? Basically like, man, these little dudes, man, I'm about to, I'm about to teach them a lesson and I'm going to make an example out of them, boy. That's what was on his mind. So the Bible says that King, Neb King Nebuchadnezzar, he had the strongest men to bound them. In other words, to tie them up hands and feet. So you tied up hands and feet thrown into a fiery furnace and it's turned up seven times hotter. The Bible says the fire was so hot that it destroyed the same, the same strong men that threw them in there. So watch this. <laughs> oh, it's about to get good, man. I love God, man. Ooh. Hey, 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 look. Did the king said, the king said, hold on a second. You know, after they was in that fire, uh, in that furnace a little bit, he said, didn't we put three people in there? They're like, yeah, we put three. He said, I see a fourth man in there and they walking around. God was in the fiery furnace with them. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, you put three in there, but his word says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Listen to me. God got in that fire with them to show himself. See, sometimes God don't get rid of, sometimes we pray and ask God to remove the fiery furnace, remove the situation. But then there's times God say, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remove the situation. I'm gonna get in the situation with you to, to show myself faithful. And the Bible says they were not consumed, meaning not a hair on their head was born. The Bible also say they didn't even smell like smoke. You may be going through a hot fiery furnace situation right now and you feel like you ain't got no help. You feel like you don't know what to do. Boy, they turned the heat off on you. Everybody against you. <laughs> hey, that ain't nothing new for us as children of God, homie. It's going to happen sometime. See, peace is not the absence of a storm. Peace is the presence of God in that situation with you. It is possible to be out on the ocean in a little bitty boat and there's a storm going on. But you got peace on your little bitty boat. Why is that? Because you got Jesus on your boat. Reading the scripture, I believe it's in Matthew. Jesus was sleep on the uh, 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 Jesus was sleep on the boat. He wasn't concerned about the wind and the waves. Come on now, all he got to do is speak a word and say, "Peace, be still." The Bible says, "Be still and know that I'm God." Be still and let God fight your battles. I want to look you in your eye when I tell you this. Never mind, I can't look at you because I'm driving. I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road. That battle ain't never been yours in the first place. Who you think you is keep on trying to fight them battles, keep on trying to do it. Man, you wear yourself out because let me tell you why. When you working, the Holy Spirit is resting. <laughs> and when the Holy Spirit is resting, I'm excuse me, and when the Holy Spirit is working, you resting. So you wear yourself out trying to do God's job. You just sit back, be still, and know that he's God. Let the Holy Spirit go to work. That's why, listen, when I talk to somebody about God and I share my testimony and I, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, talk to him over. Man, listen to me. I say, Holy Spirit, have your way. You got me? Holy Spirit, have your way. <laughs> Boy, God undefeated, man. He, he get in that situation with you. And people, they see you walking out the fiery front and they wondering, how did they make it through? Because some people, boy, they set out to destroy you. I'm just being real with you. Some people, they try to get you to tap out. They want, they want you to give up. They marked you as done with. They say, oh, he or she, they ain't coming back from this. 
<laughs> but little do they know, boy. <laughs> God in this, God in this situation with us. And listen to me. He go with the Bible say. The Bible says after that, me, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, he, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he switches sides now. You know what I'm saying? He, he basically praising God now. He, he promoting them. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. See how the, see how the roles have changed. There are people right now looking at you and your situation and they trying to see what you're going to do. They want to see if you're going to keep going. They want to see if you're still going to praise God. And, and oh, listen to me. Before, before they got through in that fiery furnace, he go with the he go with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He go with what they said. They said, God is able to keep us in this furnace. And then he said, but even if he don't, we still going to praise him. Boy, that's some that's some high level faith and respect and reverence for God. When you say, nevertheless, Lord, let your will be done. Even if God don't step in and intervene and intervene, in the I still trust that it's all for the glory of God. Now do what you got to do to me because I'm standing on all 10 toes down and I will not show a frown. Because <laughs> I got, oh, you got to have. When you going through the fire, you got to still have an attitude of gratitude because see, that determines your altitude in terms of how high you go. Altitude means the way up like an airplane. Ooh, I got one more thing for you though. Check it out. When an airplane finally takes off and gets above the ground and it starts going forward, boy, you could go and break your review mirror. Tell the pilot you don't even need to look back. Because boy, you're in the air. It's, it's real now. You got to watch out for them little birds up there, boy. You got to watch out for the rain. You don't need to be looking back. You know, the dude at the airport with that little uh, red stick that be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He be he be waving his little flag when they about to take a, he ain't looking at him no more. I got one more for you. There is a point. Any pilot out there understands this. I ain't no pilot. I just read about it. You feel me? But. After you're up in the air and you are flying, there comes a point which is called the point of no return. Meaning after you get a certain distance, boy, you ain't got enough fuel to go back to where you started from. <laughs> I love that, man. See, there's a certain point that you get to when you I'm at a red light now so I can look at certain point that you get to. I'm talking to you. You get so you ain't got enough fuel to go all the way back, boy. So you might as well keep on going. To where God has called you to go because he will he will provide he's with you every single step of the way <laughs> you can't go back dog <laughs> don't go I, I know the fire turned up I, I know I know it's hot <laughs> but boy you got gloves today boy put you some gloves on now the question that becomes with Demarcus what is a glove boy the word I'm, I'm sorry the glove represents the the armor of God reading reading Ephesians I believe chapter 6 it says put on the full armor of God so you can stand against the enemies of uh, uh, his trials right enemy come to steal kill and destroy enemy try to attack you boy put that word of God on what covered with the armor of God today. You can't do nothing to me because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Maybe you feel like you're in that fire today. It's going to be good. I'm in that mug with you, cuz. <laughs> hey, we hey, we in the end. God in it with us. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to keep turning the heat up. It don't matter. We're going to live for Christ every single day of our life. No matter who it separates you from or identifies you with, always choose to go with God because you can't lose when you go with God. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words, I can't lose with God. Because that's right. God is undefeated. <laughs> Last time I checked. He been working miracles way before you was born. Even when you was wearing pull-ups and taking a boo-boo in your little pamper, God was still working miracles. Even when you didn't know who he was, he was still watching over you. He still had you in the palm of his hand. So who are you to turn your back on him? <laughs> Don't turn your back on God. Keep on believing. Because he who is faithful to save you is faithful to keep you. So live by the same faith that you got saved by. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.